Hi again everyone, I'm Daphne and you're watching another mural painted by Team Artsy Daffy. This one is located at the Omi Centre for Cancer Treatment in Sarawak, which is Sarawak General Hospital's Radiotherapy and Oncology Unit, RTU. We were approached by the unit's doctors, where they expressed that they wanted to self-sponsor an artwork for the unit's waiting area, mainly to lift the spirits of their patients. Now let's talk design. Our direction was simple. Create something colourful and peaceful with the text RTU in it. First, as usual, we measure the site. Here you can see a stair on the left with a door. Here is the Procreate sketch process that I normally do. We start out by typing RTU that is really fat so that it can be coloured in later. And then we sketch stuff on top of the text to bring more colour to the art piece. So here you can see plants because they're pretty to look at. And they have this very calming green that I think most people like to see. And I've also added a cat. Well, mainly because Kuching equals cat to most of us. And also because it adds a little bit of life and cuteness and happiness to the painting. Then we started painting into the letters. I painted U with this terrazzo pattern because I've personally been quite obsessed with the pattern. And I also find it calming yet fun and colourful to look at. I decided T and R should have more Sarawakian elements in it and that's where the brown weaving pattern came in. I added this beautiful red and blue for the R in a bois kumbu style. As you can see, the red and blues that I use are slightly duller or a bit more muted. I feel like this is a nice modern style that I have recently been putting into my paintings. Then I started colouring in the plants in fun different shades of green. The whole painting started to look more busy and interesting. I tried to add more stuff behind but decided that would make it too complicated so I focused on adding patterns to the bottom area. This design was later adjusted again because on site we realised that the text would be too low and sometimes vehicles parked in front of the wall, it might block out the text. So we lifted the text a little bit and placed them on top of these baskets and benches. I've coloured the benches and the baskets in bright vibrant colours again and I've even added the Sarawak Tree of Life pattern onto the middle bench under the T because I just love our unique Sarawakian designs. And now, onto painting! So this is the site and I'm very lucky to have these two dear volunteers with me, Ginny and Alicia. Look them up on Instagram. As usual, we start off with the base and then later layer on the other patterns. My mother had cancer when I was a teenager and she was actually treated here at one point before she passed away. I can still remember the hospital visits and how we all felt as a family. Hence, you can see how this project is a little personal to me. So once we were asked, I volunteered to do this project. Throughout our two days there, there were a ton of people waiting at the unit to the point that people had to stand outside because there wasn't enough seats inside. Some bystanders would come talk to us. One even told us that it's nice to watch us paint and see something bright and colourful to get their minds off the stress that they are feeling. When one of the patients told us that they feel a little bit happier, a, bit, a little bit uplifted, that they can think and see something different, which is our colourful piece outside here, um, these comments really made us feel warm inside. We felt happy that we are able to lift people's spirits up, even if it's just a little. And this is the final piece! If you ever drop by, tag us on Instagram and Facebook at artsydaffy or hashtag artsydaffy. Also, follow us on our YouTube channel for weekly videos. If you want to see the design process of any of the previous artwork, do comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next video which will be really soon because we're all stuck at home from the movement control order in Malaysia that has been extended again. See you next time.